let's go wild y'all we have packed we have prepared we have planned we have missed our train but we are here and it is time to go wild <laughs> Washington DC we are tuning in I have a really good room um, where I can see like right onto Connecticut Ave the hotel that we're staying at the fun fact is it's where Reagan got shot kind of morbid history today is Tuesday but it's time to get ready for the day we have a lot of moving parts while we are at wild this year but don't worry I'm gonna show y'all it all so this year I am Hosting the shop summit a huge part of what I'm doing today is prepping for this shop summit today is also when a bunch of the speakers sponsors arrive to DC and so there's just a lot of things that are in the works for today the nice thing about DC is I actually lived in the DC area for about eight years my parents were stationed um, a couple different places in the DMV. This feels very much kind of like home to me. Yesterday I was more anxious to like just get to the DC area, make it safely, and I literally don't normally pack as much as I did, but actually that's a lie. I just normally fly so I would check it, but this year I took the train so like the luggage just stayed with me the whole entire time and it essentially was like two huge checked bags as well as like two carry-ons when i was running through the streets of new york with all of these bags and like kind of falling everywhere it wasn't my best moment but also i'm just so excited to meet so many new people i'm excited to dance i'm excited to see my friends and it's just gonna be great i genuinely was world's worst vlogger today and it's very early in the morning on wednesday i am ironing my clothes for tomorrow so at least i'll give you a little bit of a recap of what happened honestly the majority of my day today was prepping for shop summit and kind of running around the hotel just getting everything ready for that today just all of the prep and the start for like sponsors arriving and swag arriving and all of that was kind of going on behind the scenes and so as i'm also doing live event coverage for wild i think it's really important to go ahead and like get that and i really like to showcase um whether i'm shooting a conference or whether i'm shooting a wedding just kind of how much goes in the behind the scenes of what that process looks like because i think it's really easy to see the beautiful pictures and the beautiful videos that come from that but it sometimes i don't think takes away is the right word but i think sometimes it's easy when we're looking at these beautiful photos and these beautiful videos to forget all the effort and the time and the dedication that went into that. That's just something that's personally really important to me, whatever I'm doing any sort of event content creation. See you when, when the sun's up. Good morning, it is Shop Summit Day. If you can see here in the background, we have some friends who are joining us. Hi friends. Coffee has been ordered. Now it is time to get ready. So Shop Summit is an extra ticketed day. Famously is my favorite day. And I think that there are a lot of reasons to that. Just cause I think there's so much creativity and innovation. I also think that there's an element of it being a pretty intimate event. It's really like a specialized skill set that you're bringing an incredible group of people all together. Coffee is here. Hi everyone, I'm Danny. And I'm Julie. And today we are going to Shop Summit! Yay! Are you excited, Julie? Very excited. What are you most excited for? Um, meeting some of the shop owners who I probably haven't met before and also just seeing everyone get super hyped about their business, learning how to grow their business, how to just elevate their business and just do great things. I'm excited because this is my first Shop Summit ever, so let's go! Mm -hmm. 
So I'm here in the room for Shop Summit. We're getting everything ready and the vibes are immaculate. The tables look amazing and I can already tell that they are getting set up for an amazing summit for shop owners and I can't wait to see how it goes. And then, of course, mine from my business. Yes, I love it. What's your yes. business? Creative Design by Jessica. Creative I'm Design by Jessica yes, at yes, Shop Summit. And then this is a little spark. Oh, I love it. Supporting all the small yes, businesses. Yes, yes. What are you so excited about for Shop Summit today? Just learning what all the good stuff that they can give me. I, don't know. I just want to learn. Hi! It's headshot time. We'll put What are you wearing on your lanyard today? Who are you wearing? I'm wearing my pen. Of course. Chrissy and Pines, of course. Yeah. And, and then like all these other little colorful ones. Okay, so we are currently live at Shot Summit. We are, I don't have a watch, but I think we're like two minutes right before we go on stage. I absolutely cannot wait. There truly is electricity that's here. I've been dancing, I've been hugging, I've been crying, I've been doing all the good things. Shot Summit's gonna be amazing. Really thankful to be here and so excited to see what magic comes from today. We are halfway through Shop Summit right now. I had to come outside because it is absolutely a beautiful day here in DC. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. I love Shop Summit, I love Shop Summit, I love Shop Summit, I don't know how many times I can say that. The amount of conversations that I've been able to have with people, the speakers this year are always incredible, but just like even more incredible this year. I've just had really inspiring conversations and I'm really happy and thankful to be able to be a part of this. Right now, like I said, we're taking a break. I need to eat, I need to get coffee. We still have an afternoon full of sessions, but my heart is so full. It is Thursday, it is officially registration day, and oh my goodness. Where I left you yesterday is that we were at Shop Summit and it was halfway through the end, y'all. It was amazing. Uh, we had Aaron Vossler and um, Haley Grammer, who really just kind of gave like a real talk, real vibe about like being a business owner and what that looks like and kind of changing and navigating different dynamics. We had um, Felicia from Goldmine and Coco, and it was such an incredible talk. Really on just like actual elements that you can implement change understanding like your ROIs and how we can use all these different tools that are at our disposal to help in our businesses and then um, it finished up with brand school with Allison Allison was one of our presenters on the main stage last year it was so special to kind of have this thing for shop summit so other than that I guess I should have known that hosting all day would make me exhausted but you know classic me I didn't think it would so I did take yesterday chill well you know as chill as I can a lot of what I did yesterday was prepare for registration today. Um, I'm running the wild socials while I'm here. I just went through and like, you know, updated everything, make sure, make sure everything's looking good. I mean, that's the thing about wild y'all is that you can literally just walk through the lobby and you get to meet so many planner friends and so many people who are just incredible and who are so excited about wild. And I'm about to head down. Registration today opens at 11. Even at shop summit, we weren't like in the main where areas that go wild will be held. We were in a different venue, and so today is kind of the first day that some of the main events in the main areas are opening up. It's where you'll have activations from sponsors and different partners for WILD this year. It's so great. It is day one of Go Wild. Excited. So excited to see all of our friends. Ah, it's gonna be incredible. Let's go.
I mean? Welcome to registration. We're here. All of our friends are here. We're getting to hang out. We're doing the fun things. I need coffee. I'm most excited about actually this year the activations are really cool and every single one of them is interactive in some way. So like over at Avery, there's a live calligrapher, Laura Moniz, there's a swing, EC, they have like fun chairs. CAD, they have a photo booth. So like, there are just so many interactive elements this year that I think you're gonna make for some awesome photo ops, some awesome memories, and some really great conversation starters. From my roomie bestie. Uh, this is a pride pen, Amazon, and a couple pens that I made. At the sticker party, Melissa K. And of course, I'm Rack Pen, Texas. I have this is Tisa. I have someone's Etsy shop. And a few from Amazon. We're here at karaoke. The music is playing, the drinks are flowing. We are so excited. We're having so much fun. Downstairs. It is day one officially of main session for Go Wild. It is early in the morning, so I'm trying to be quiet in the hallways. But I have like a bunch of bags um, and my shoes are intact. We're getting down there early right now because all of the volunteers have a six o'clock meeting before um, uh, the doors open for the main session at 7 30. I have a social team meeting that I'm leading at 6 45. Um, so I have a couple more things to prepare before we're officially there. But John Michael's here, Minnie's here, my mom's here, my sister's in law in here, and we are just having so much fun. Look at this. It is. This is your first Go Wild. How is it? How are you doing? I am floored at the energy, the excitement. Everyone is so stoked to be here. I am also stoked to be here. We are midday. We are at a power break. The speakers this morning have been absolutely incredible, inspiring. It's Go Wild season. I was shaking my booty in the morning. Now I'm hydrating with the snack. We're doing some live content creation in the moment. It just feels good. It feels good and I think for me also too, since I've had this surgery, physically everything's perfectly fine, but mentally it's been a bigger struggle than I anticipated and I'm starting to feel more like me again. There were just so many amazing and incredible speakers. I think the thing, and I said this after the sessions, is that there was something for everyone. So 
you know, I really feel like Passion Planner talked a lot about um, goal setting and business and we had Sierra who talked about hardships in life and mental health and how to overcome that. We had breath work with Alex. There were just so many incredible different aspects to the conference itself. We had a, a crafting session with Amy Tangerine. Just again, there were so many amazing things that were going on. There were so many elements, no matter what you were into. Um, and I think it was just the most beautiful representation of the planner community and go wild. I'm here with my girl Tori and Stephanie and we are just so excited we're taking a little break having a little lunch what was your favorite session so far uh, my favorite so far has definitely been the founders panel so inspirational so motivational loved every single one and you own a small business right yeah so that's exactly why I love it so much oh my goodness yeah so what about you well, I love the Founders Panel and also the, the Jeopardy, but I am an entrepreneur as well, and I have a coaching business, and I just developed a planner, so I'm just soaking up everything. Soak up everything. All the notes, right? All and of course, you got to make it pretty. Uh, my dad told me that the sign meant there were no malls. <laughs> because it's easy, especially during the pandemic, it was very easy to just not do anything. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm one of the... <laughs> It's like I'm turning Netflix on and I'm not moving. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that I started to do is actually write down in my planner that I am spending 20% of my time doing something outside my comfort zone. Uh, hello everyone from sunny Washington DC. It is the Sunday after Go Wild. Go Wild 2023 is over. Oh my gosh, the dog is literally like... She's, uh, it's the first grass she's seen in a day or two. I know, we should have brought her ball. Fortunately, Go Wild 2023 is over, but that just means that we are preparing and getting ready for Go Wild 2024. As a Go Wild first time attendee, what did you think? I, you know, it like completely blew my expectations out of the water. It was, the programming was like very empowering. Uh, tons of swag. I've taken home like a full suitcase full of planners and stickers and super fun. We had a great time, got to meet a lot of cool people. Um, we'll definitely be back. Yeah, we'll be back next year. Minnie, how was your first go wild? Yeah, go did, you, did you love it? Go get did you love it? 